Time Warner Cable's local edition. I'm Brad Pomerantz. It's my honor to bring back to our program Richard Reardon. He was mayor of Los Angeles in the 1990s, and he just wrote this book, The Mayor, How I Turned Around Los Angeles After Riots, an Earthquake, and the O.J. Simpson Murder Trial. What hit me first, though, is who wrote the foreword? President Bill Clinton. Yeah. You're a Republican. President Bill Clinton, a Democrat, but it says a lot about who you are and who you were during those years. Yeah. Tell us about that. Well, you know, the, the right wing, super right wing Republicans call me a rhino, right. Republican in name only. But I was very much Republican on uh, budgets and right. uh, taxes and things like that. When it came to the social issues like gay rights and uh, uh, abortion and others, mm. I was right down the middle. Right. And, uh, and with Clinton, he was president then. We had the biggest natural disaster in the history of the country, the Northridge earthquake, right. and he became my best friend. I mean, I could get him on the phone night and day. I believe you. And I, uh, I spent a couple of nights sleeping in the White House where he would talk to me till four in the morning. And drive, and I, I want to go to bed. You know, I, I, and, I have to be honest. I mean, I remember <laughs> those days. Yeah. And I remember when you were running for election yeah. the first time against Mike Wu. Yeah. That's a name from the past. And yeah. a lot of Democrats were nervous. Yeah. Uh, as they saw that you were likely going to be the victor, uh, they were nervous. But by the time you ran for re-election, you had the whole Democratic Party yeah. supporting you. I mean, what, yeah. what did you do right to have both parties uh, stand behind you? Well, because I treated everybody equally, and I mean, by coincidence, my staff was about 70% yes. Democrat, and not because they were Democrats or Republicans, because they were the best people I could find. Right. And, uh, you know, I had, on social issues, which are hit, hit people's mind more, I was fairly, well, uh, liberal, whatever the word and, is. And the reality is, as a mayor, even of a very large city, yeah. those issues don't really hit your agenda. No, they don't. They, yeah. In fact, they don't really hit mm -hmm. the agenda of a president of the United States. At a certain level, that's uh, right. And that's what my dad said. This is a story of Mr. McVeigh, mm. who died defending his right away. Right. Yeah. And that's what I think the Tea Party does. Mm. They make it so a Republican who can appeal to the centrist and to the more liberal can never get elected. Did you have any idea when you decided to run for office the challenges you would face? Like you said, you know, there were so many things going on in the yeah. 90s. It was an exciting time, an economically yeah. vibrant time, but, but challenging between the earthquakes yeah. and, you know, civil unrest uh, you know, that had just passed. No, I, you know, I guess I've had enough tragedies and things mm -hmm. in my life that I, I always, as I say in my book, relax when you have emergencies mm -hmm. and somehow or other things will come together. For what are you most proud during your mayoral era? I know you were proud about a lot of things, but during your mayoral era? Well, quite honestly, I was very proud with the way I dealt with the inner city, the port uh, resident. No, I understand. And I remember one case, which I remember very well. I, w I went to different neighborhoods, and one neighborhood I went to uh, was a poor African-American neighborhood. Mm -hmm. They had coals in their streets, mm -hmm. cracks in their sidewalk, graffiti mm -hmm. all over the place. They had prostitutes there at night. They had drugs sold. And they first got mad at me when I was talking to them. And I said, I'm not going to do anything for you. You're going to do it. I'm going to let you do it. You, you just make it happen. Forget the city rules. or uh, right. Just go. If it's the right thing, go you do it. You empowered them. And he, I said, here's, I gave him my home telephone number. And I said, if anybody complains, have them call me, and I'll ask for forgiveness. His and name <laughs> is Richard Reardon. Yeah. He was the mayor of Los Angeles, and he's the author of this book, The Mayor. I urge you to read it. I know I will. My name is Brad Pomerantz. It's Time Warner Cable's Local Edition.